Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com, and I'm over here in San Luis Obispo County with a room full of homeless people putting together a community of um, maybe Dignity Village Slow. Is that correct? That's correct. And they're having a meeting, official meeting, on how to pull this all together. There's Dignity Village Slow, uh, Dignity Village in Oregon, which you can look up, and, and it works. It's been going on for 11 years. And you guys right now are working together to create, what are you, what are you doing? Tell me what you guys are doing. Who wants to Extension talk about it? Extension of what they started in Oregon anyway. Okay, what, what did they doing? start in Oregon? What's, what's going on over there? What is going on over there? Do you know? No, we don't have any idea about no, what Dignity Village know. there does. What? They started a Dignity Village where homeless people can go and have a safe place to, lead, to live instead uh -huh. of being on the street. Which makes and sense. So we, and so that we want to start one here in Slow because uh -huh. of the number of people who are homeless. Yeah, there's over 3,000 people homeless rising in this in county. Yeah. Yes. And so from what I've been told here today is that in Dignity Village there's, you know, 50, 100 people that they built, built a village and people run it themselves. Right. Right? And right. they run it themselves and if you guys, okay. could you guys all live together so in a village is the question. Yes. yes. Yes, we can. You know, and, and what's your biggest gripe of, 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 of the government where, is it the cost of the housing? Or is it the rules of the housing? Or what's the deal? What's the all deal, the you above. guys? Probably all the above. All the above? Ba ba mostly probably the cost because it's so expensive here in Slow. It is very expensive. It's it expensive is. in California, period, along the coast. And then and you got to have a job anywhere. to have a place to stay and you got to have a place to stay to have a job. Right. Yeah. And do you guys, uh, how, what's the job situation? Are you guys working or not no. working? Or? It's kind of hard depending on that, if you've got a, you know, a criminal record or not. You know, if you've got a certain criminal record that people, you know, get scared and run away mm -hmm. and close their doors. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't yeah. think it should be treated as, you know, individuals. I think it's treated by uh, the community that should not be afraid of it should go back how it used of to be. Of who the person people. is and not yeah. necessarily what Don't they did wrong back. Don't judge the book by its cover, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because everybody makes their mistakes and, you know. Knows. That's how you deal with it and overcome those situations yeah. and move on from Yeah, that. and somehow we lost that. Somehow, I don't know how we lost. That's what we got. We got yeah. stigmatism. Yeah. Somehow we lost the community within our government. And and what you guys are really pulling together, from what I can see, is is back into community where we all work together and be, be people. Civilized. <laughs> We're people, people that are civilized and don't sit down and look down on each other. Exactly. We, if someone's hungry, you give them some food if you got it. And, and if it's cold and, and they need, need to hang out at your house for a day, you let them hang. Yeah. And, like um, yeah, you, like it used to be. Back you already in, do that. Back in, yeah, you guys already you do this. And that's north. why the village will work. We and for some reason, it benefits a lot of people, not only us, it benefits the whole community if you logically yeah. look at it. We it, have it our does own benefit community the community already within this community. Yeah. Instead you might as well put a roof minded. over your head yeah. so then you're not all freezing and, and it's just a chaos mess where it's not right. It's just not fair. I don't people know how you look at it. It's just not fair. That, if you notice, you know? there's more veterans that have been homeless than ever before. Yeah. But, you know, it was meant to be to have enough food, shelter, and clothing. Right. And then we lost all that freedom. How far is freedom right now? We don't got that like we used to, you know? Yeah. And where's the freedom? And that's what I do that's see, by the way, with all the homeless, like you guys, where you're individual, you're not, you know, women with children or men with children or families on the streets. But what you guys are is you're looking for freedom. And you have freedom. You just don't have shelter so over extent? your head. Well, you have freedom in the sense of that you don't um, have the responsibility of paying property tax and well, having to do paperwork. Exactly. And you're, yeah, and, 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 and yeah, you're looking and for dignity. Like anybody, everybody deserves dignity and respect for who you are, not necessarily what you have. Exactly. And, and, and you guys are, um, you know, really the, the bottom line pioneers, and you're the true pioneers of our country. Because everybody else is stuck on the uh, materialistic, um, you know, what value. Kind of value and not the human value. And so, in reality, you know, I don't know about what you guys know, but from what I see is, is the homeless people, whoever they are, they realize the value of life and people in and general. People, there is a lot you know, of people that are up to help and us. If they, you know, and if they didn't know that, they learn. Right. You know, they learn the hard way. 
You know, it's hard. It's hard to be poor. It's very hard to be poor and not be able to get, you know, the ice cream cone down the but street. But that's everything in bucks. life. You know, it's hard to be rich, too. Yeah. You know, it uh, yeah. doesn't make you happy. You can't buy that. You can't buy contentment. You can't makes buy it a whole lot easier sometimes, though. <laughs> you know, yeah. having money makes it a whole lot easier. Well, yeah. 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 Well, that's that's what I heard, at least. It makes but it easier, but I can still be. You know, I know, I know, it's, I know. And, well, and you guys are in the we're human... happy for what we have, and if we get more, that's fine. If, if we, we don't, don't, then we're still going to be happy. happy. We're not right. going to change because of the environment and the, right. and the community and people yeah. around us. And that's we're happy with what we have. And that's it. Yeah. A lot of us... Minimalize that it is. Minimalize like it is. It's all good. I came from having money, having a car, having a place to stay, having mm -hmm. a job, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, one day, poof. And it was all gone. Well, what happened? What was, the poof? what was the poop? What was the poop? The poop was unfortunately that I did something really stupid and made myself go to jail and go to prison. Oh well, poof will do that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I come out yeah. and I have absolutely nothing. Yeah, one day it'll change. Yeah, one day. But can you don't have to look down. I don't look at myself from. as not having anything. I look at myself as having just what I need now, and okay. I don't need anything else than what I have. Right. But I want. I need more. Yeah. I don't want more, but the way that we're working now uh -huh. is that we're going to make something for ourselves. We're not right. going to have something that the cities thought up, the counties thought up, mm -hmm. the governments thought up. This right. is something that our own little group, our own little 25 people, 30 people have thought up and came up with something on our own to go back to where we need to be, well, to have a place to, to stay. To and have roof does, over our head, to yeah. have water, running running yeah. toilets, Civil a shower, living. to have a yeah. place where we can put our food so to where we can cook our So it's our really food. 1800 to 2012. It's we're, 1800, we're going but you back want, to, we're you going need back the, to the basics. Yeah, well, yeah. you need the 2012 bathroom. Okay? We're going back to but basics. It's two th you can live in the 1800 where you don't need a whole lot of material things, Everything. but you do need... You know, roof over your needs, head, and that's and that's Everyone not unre that's needs. not unreasonable in our society today because there is such wealth in basic San Luis Obispo County, yes, Santa Barbara County, Texas, accepted. and New York. For who you are, I mean, let's get real. And so, people are, just yeah, accept it for who you are and whatever yeah. you know, big deal. You you know, whatever you robbed a bank or whatever, you're straight, clean, you're a good person, you're, you're smart, you're being, intelligent, you know, you're yeah. you're you're a good person. You made a mistake, big deal. We all make mistakes. Believe yeah. me, I've That's made my everybody it makes their mistakes. So you know, to create a village for the people that have it together, they just need a roof over their head. Makes sense. But it also so, opens the perspective uh, with other people too. You know, just because you got a place and all that, it doesn't. I don't mean to look down on people that don't have it. Much well, from either. what I can see, that everybody will regulate themselves, of just course. like the, just like the, um, you know, the playground. That's what kids do. If you let kids play together, they regulate themselves. They make everything fair and right. And that's just it's as easy and simple there's as that. No prejudice when you do that. Yeah, there's no, there's no nothing. It's like you know, you play together, you and then you, that's how it is. They are. Yeah. You don't ignore people. That's what this world needs. It's not to stop. Loving and caring about each other, because right now the hatred that needs to the, go. The, 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 uh, You're absolutely 150 you know, percent right on that. They don't like, you know. It's it's. If I don't look at you, you don't exist. You know? Yeah, that doesn't work that way. And it don't, because no. uh, whether the or love? not you don't look at me, I still exist. Yeah, where's the love? You know, and I accept you for you. I, you know, I. Yeah. And vice versa, you should need to yeah. do the same thing with people. We love each other. It doesn't matter if anybody else loves us. We we live together. We stick well, together. If anything happens, well, what does the Bible say? What is God? Do you know what God is? is? Love. God He's is love. what? Love. Kindness. Okay, God is what? Love. And his greatest. Okay, God is what? I don't believe in the Bible. And that's fine. Sorry. And God is what? <laughs> God, God is what? Love. And there's yeah. yeah and and that's cool. his greatest commandment is love. In the bottom line, God is love. You and that, hope that's and what faith it represents, too. which is not a bad thing. You need hope and faith too, because yeah. it runs coinciding with. And so with within each other too. within our society, you know, um, if we gone. all go back to the basics of, of love, then we'll all take we care of each other. Yeah. We got everything. We'll once we got love. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Well, thank you, you guys. You're great. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.